Hello everyone, this is Kersher Bacon. Welcome to a very special Minecraft video, possibly. Uh, in this one, I'm going to be exploring the Helix Islands data pack that my friend Helix put together. Uh, apparently, I never got... That's fun. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder, do I still have... Yep, I still do. Okay, so I slap that in there. Let's go back to here. Yep, there it is. So we got Helix Island over here. Done. It's going to validate. Good. We're going to play on normal. Uh, let's see, he said you have to set it to a single biome, then select Helix Islands from the thing up there. Alright. And yeah, it's a data pack he's made that should be interesting. He recommended bonus chests on. I'm leaving cheats on in case we get stuck. Game rules or game rules, I can't think of anything that we're going to need. And yeah, nothing here immediately strikes at me. So yeah, let's try it out. Here be dragons. Proceed. I dice initiative. Let me check. I have a four. Okay. And we're on a Helix Island. Uh, all kinds of goodies over here. Let's grab our chest and stuff. So apparently Helix has tweaked this to try and make it a bit more... I'm not entirely sure what the point is here. Oh, look, a shipwreck. All right, I should try actually to conserve my stuff until we can get a source of food. So we have a plot of land over here. Uh, apparently this is meant to be kind of a resource-scarce type deal, uh, similar to, you know, like a sky block or a stone block feel. Uh, let's go ahead on over to yonder shipwreck with treasures abound. Uh, in terms of food, we got fish, who apparently also dropped bone meal now, which is neat. We got music. That's fun. Uh, yeah, sources of wood right over there, it looks like. We'll just have to be lucky and get a sapling. I'm breaking three leather pants, some bamboo, a moss block that's new. I have not explored most of the 117 content yet. I'm actually a little disappointed because they're splitting it up into two things, but I get that. Uh, here, let's go break the chest. It's going to take a while. Are we going to run off air before that happens? I think we're good. Probably not, though. We're going to drown here, guys, trying to break a chest. I don't even think I got it. Must be floating around there somewhere. Yep, there it is. We got it. Okay. Glowy squid. Neat. Some stalactites, sea pickles. Okay, I mean, we're surrounded by food. We have kelp for days. Uh, there's large gravel, sand patches, looks like. This isn't an adventuring pack so much. Like, data pack, I should say. Because you can do that in vanilla. Do, like, an adventuring map data pack, which I'm hoping to do. So it really comes down to... Uh, let me get above ground. The player to, like, do some stuff here. So I'm gonna just build a nice house and such, call it a day. It'll probably be a short mini-series. Can't imagine this taking too long, but who knows? Maybe this will become my 300-episode series that, for some reason, just goes on and on. Uh, primarily, this is to give Helix, who I'm assuming is gonna end up watching this, a uh, feedback on what he's doing. So even if I don't know what I'm looking for, he does. So that's the plan. I like this little visual glitch here. As you can see, the ocean floor looks pretty different. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. In fact, if I look at F3 right now, what biome does it say I'm in? Minecraft, look at the... Just ocean? Alright. It would have been cool if it said Helix Islands or something. Hmm. Now, is there an island over there? There are bunny rabbits over here. I am curious now. That shipwreck over there is killing my PC. I can feel it overheating. Another shipwreck that way. Yeah, Helix, I don't know if you accounted for shipwrecks or if you forgot to turn them off, but that's going to be a thing because that could be diamonds early on. Okay, yeah, no, I feel the choppiness. We're going to turn that back down to a more playable thing. Got to stop sprinting everywhere. All right, this is our only tree. We cannot mess this up. I wonder, do hoes give... Like, I know a fortune hoe would give extra chance, but I'm thinking a regular hoe might, so... 
Ooh, nice. It's getting dark, so we're gonna have to dig ourselves into a hole. I'm just trying to get enough for a stone hoe. So yeah, we'll break out the leaves and hope that at least one of them has a goober that we can use. Uh, fishing loot table has apparently been adjusted to make this a little easier for us, so hopefully that works. Haha, <laughs> sapling. Okay, we're good. I'm assuming we get one or two or three more. Sapling. Okay, looking good. Two saplings. Can I get a third, please? Alright, guess not. Game hates me. Oh, I thought it was going to be nighttime soon. What the heck? There's a cactus over there. Neat, in case we need green dye. So, yeah. Uh, trees are the source of everything, because we're going to need wood. There are some ships and shipwrecks for us to find. Uh, yeah. I guess now what do we do at this point? See, I want to head into the cave, and I'm thinking that's what I'll end up doing. I kind of wish I had Optifine so I could have that dynamic lighting effect as we went into a cave. I'm also hoping the entire world isn't just stone. I might just, for the sake of slash game of SP, spectator, that's right. Okay, yeah, there are caves. Nope, I'm not trying not to look at them, game, come on. That was what I wanted to confirm. Okay, here there be caves. Alright, at this point I should have mined up enough with the wood pickaxe. We can switch over to stone. Hmm. Alright, what is the plan now? Save that bone meal for something. Uh, hmm. I guess let's get a furnace? I mean, no, okay, stone pickaxe. Let's not be silly here. Stone axe, we shouldn't need the sword, really. Uh, stone shovel, definitely. And yeah, the rest of it, and the rest of it, what are we gonna do? Hmm, not sure. Guess we'll figure that out soon enough. I guess we'll set up a chest here. Toss some of our junk into it. I guess, yeah, no, we have kelp. We don't need to worry about furnace fuel so much. We just need to get enough stone for a furnace. So another five pieces. And then, yeah, we, we don't need to use our wood to burn stuff and make charcoal. We can just use kelp. That's going to be the trick, I think. Kelp is going to be the way forward. Right, there's a furnace. All right. Two sticks will smelt a single kelp, but we need to smelt nine of them. Uh... It's an investment, you know, right, guys? So let's see. I'd rather not invest the wood. Do I have anything I can burn? These would burn for one each. I guess we'll use those to start off with. Oh, we should put on our pants. There we go. Much better now. Uh, hmm. What can we burn? Like, okay, we could convert one of these into a charcoal and then do that. That wouldn't be impossible. In fact, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea because we'll get more. So we're going to do that. I forget how many we needed, so I'm just going to put all of them in there. I think it was halfway, right? Yeah, it looks like half. Perfect. And now we cook up the rest of it, and then when we come back in a minute, that will all be ready, and then we'll have plenty. Let's go get some food real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, missed. Missed. I would make a terrible Michael Myers. Seriously? Salmon? Seriously? Come on, man. Alright. Alright, heading towards nighttime. Uh, Captain's log. Found south. It's that way. Sun sets in the west, so yeah, that is south, that's north. Uh, yeah, currently hoping those trees grow at some point. I wouldn't even mind if one of them was a big one, although it would be annoying at first. Uh, did moss blocks turn into anything? I forget. I think you could, like, convert stone with them in bone meal or something really quickly. I have not read up on it. 
have not set spawn location. We'll have to remember to come here if I ever need to. One more. Thank you, game. And now we get into the recursion, if you will. Well, not recursion, but uh, whatever it's called. Because now we can totally just do this. And dig until we find some coal, and that's our starting fuel. We can't make torches out of it, so we'll save the coal for torches. <coughs> yeah, there is straight up just a world out here. Apparently there aren't any strongholds. Like, maybe I'll, that will be the challenge for this thing. I'll go beat the end, because I'm going to have to craft up the components to get thingies. I'm willing to bet the nether's about the same. I like the new ores, not going to lie. I say as I've seen only one of them. Okay, so we don't have to worry about coal. Coal still generates in the normal properties. The real question now is going to be, what do we do in terms of wood? See, we have two saplings outside, and we're going to need more. And these are really big veins. That's right, didn't I tweak the veins? Or was that coming next update? I've already forgotten. Yeah, I think this update was the bigger veins. The next one is going to be the whole, uh, hey, the world is bigger now. But maybe I'm wrong? I know, we'll see how deep this thing goes. Giggity. All right, spending one of my oh-so-precious sticks and a couple more to uh, get some more. And yeah, this thing is still going. One thing I would like to see in data packs, which is not at all related to whatever the purpose of this pack has, is bigger sized pockets of granite, diorite, and andesite, but make them rarer too. So ideally, one quarter of the world is stone, one quarter granite, so on and so forth. And this way, you know, if I want to go find find a billion andesite, I don't have to mine out tiny pockets of like a stack and a half sized each. It's like, here's a giant pocket that's about 20 million stacks. Well, not 20 million. 64? I don't know. A lot. It should be a lot. You could quarry out a small mob grinder in the space that one of those pockets would occupy. Alright, that's larger than normal size, I think, for those. We'll see. Because ore density has been messed with, at least in some of the snapshots. I don't know how it is for this. And we're going down to the bottom. Only at Y42, though. It's going to take a minute. Ah, yes. Iron. Oh, that's right. It drops these clumps now instead of iron ore. You have to smelt the clumps, which means you can now fortune iron and gold. You can still sulk it to get the ore block if you want it. Which, uh, probably that's the recommended method, because you can carry more ore blocks without having to on-site smelt it. Because, I mean, the best method is probably to just fortune it, smelt it into ingots, and then craft up the ingots into blocks. But if you don't have the means to do that on-site smelting over and over, then, yeah, you are kind of SOL. All right, let's go upstairs and go smelt this iron. Ah, oh, it's getting dark. It is dark. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for mobs, but I think none of them can spawn on this island here, and they're all too far away to mess with us right now. That's yeah, just a nice small cluster thing over here. You can see occasional light spots in the darkness. Alright. So we're going to go just smelt this up with, like, two iron and, yeah, two iron, yeah. Two coal, and, yeah, that's wasteful, but, well, yeah, it's a waste. This thing had one durability left in it. That's hysterical. Alright, food is still somewhat scarce. Like, we can eat this. But it's not really good food. Oh, my phone went ding. Give me a second. I don't think that's anything I need to care about. Yeah, okay. Just work-related garbage. Nothing I need to worry about. <laughs> The boss says if I take tomorrow off, I don't need to bother coming in Monday either. And I'm like, woohoo, four-day weekend, because I'm Homer Simpson. Okay. You will grow. I tried. We can get bone meal from fish and skeletons, but I'm not touching a skeleton right now, so. Okay, first and foremost. Most overpowered item in this game. Yoink. 
Alright, second, we should get the other most powerful item in this game. Double yoink. Okay, we're now immune to creepers as long as we get the shield up in time. Ah, uh, let's see. Definitely want that pickaxe, right? Yeah, we'll just... I'm like, hey guys, we have to conserve our wood, and then two seconds later it's like, uh-huh. Alright, uh... Want the axe next, or maybe I'll save it. Yeah. We should cook the salmon. You know what, we should get a second furnace gone. Don't know why I'm playing this like this is not Factorio. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> yeah, no, a game like that changes the way you see play and play other games, because it's like, well, you know, I can automate this. And once you've had a taste of that life, it's hard to go back. Uh, we should also probably plant those crops. You know, get those seeds going. In case I need a disposable block, I'll go mine up some dirt. Okay. Got some fish. Uh, I don't think we'll need this anymore. We have foodstuffs on us. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go... Hmm. Nah, we shouldn't need that. Let's go head on down. Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to replace these with uh, things we didn't have to waste food by jumping up. So let's go fix that. Ooh, we need more. Lots more. Oh well. I'm so used to, like, Continuum or Haven where it's like, yeah, it's stupid not to have stairs give eight or six at least when you craft them. No, you gotta lose so much material crafting them into fours. Y30, let's see if we hit gold. Looks like we're gonna miss every single one of those caves that we might, might have seen earlier, but that's fine. Oh, here's some coal. Yeah, I'm sorry, this isn't entertaining footage, this is debugging for Helix footage. Although really he'd probably appreciate more if it was just a creative fly around to the area, which I might do after this. Here, let's see if we can at least get to Y0. Like, that should be our goal for today. You know, it'd be nice to hit diamonds along the way, but uh, that probably ain't happening, Chief. Here's diorite. Oh, here's that new black stone. Takes a bit longer to mine than normal stone. They should definitely update the sounds of the old blocks if they're gonna do this for new blocks. Yep. Hey, that's redstone. That gave us four. That gave us five. That gave us five. And that gave us, like, what, three? I don't know. I wasn't keeping track that well. Okay. So, yeah. Cobble deep slate. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's bedrock, people. I guess let's go... Look around for a minute. Yeah, we managed to avoid all the caves. Neat. <laughs> okay, so here's our home. We don't have the means to make a bed yet, which is concerning. That should probably be included. Because it's like, okay, we have to hunt up the spiders now, but we don't have the means to hunt them up safely. Point being, that's our home. And I took a screenshot of the cords because I can't slash home myself right now. And yeah, looking around here... 
Looks like it's just an ocean. Oh, there's a couple islands here or there. Neat. So you could totally just say, I don't like my starting area. I'm going to go hope for a better island. Uh, I mean, I play sky blocks a lot. I've played stone blocks. So I, I shouldn't have an issue with this. Why is this area lit up? Sea pickles? Sea pickles. Apparently, ocean monuments are a thing. Maybe we can try doing a slash locate on one of those. Uh, but yeah, this is the kind of terrain we're looking at here. Not bad at all. Oh, hey oh, <laughs> Didn't have to locate. Hmm. Yeah, that does kind of not jive with the terrain at all. Yeah, look. Elder Guardian. Hmm. Point of view. You are a block of gold. Uh, yeah, caves generate as normal. I'm really excited for the new caves at some point. But, yeah. So, yeah, sunken uh, shipwrecks. Those are going to be fun, I think. Like, uh, for starting off, you can, you can get some good RNG with them. But, yeah, otherwise, I think this is a pretty good overview of the... Uh, data pack, you know, what it does, this final section here. Everything I've done beforehand was just me being lazy and wanting to just record some good old school Minecraft. So yeah, that's going to do it for probably the entire series, let's be real here. There is no content to be found, but Helix, hope you enjoyed watching. Everyone else, hope you enjoyed watching too. Give me a second. Game mode. Survival. And yeah, catch you guys again in the next one, if there is a next one. Bye-bye.